Hi, it's been a while since I've done a devotion for you all. And so I thought that this time I'd like to have a moment just to remind you that over the last few weeks, we've had several sermons on the Exodus journey. That time when the Hebrew people were brought out from slavery and began their journey towards the land of milk and honey. Their story has reminded me that even in the midst of a journey, even a difficult one, we can find some beautiful discoveries. In the last several months, my husband and I have been enjoying our home at Lake Junaluska. We actually spent a week there for a vacation. During our time there, we've made some discoveries of things we've never seen before. We actually visited Inspiration Point. I'd seen the sign, I'd heard about it, but I'd never been there. It's a very beautiful patio set just above the lake and beneath the lighted cross. A wonderful place to meditate, to pray, to have a small group discussion. We also discovered that at the Bethay Welcome Center, named for the former Bishop of South Carolina, Bishop Joseph Bethay, they have a biblical garden. Each item in the garden was selected because it was found in the Bible and it is labeled and identifying the passage of scripture. What an amazing gift to the community. We also found around the corner, just down at, next to the highway, there's a boat ramp and a garden called the Burnside uh, Garden. And it's a lovely place to watch the ducks and the swans swim by, to engage with some of the people who come in and fish in the lake, and those who come to kayak. It's just a beautiful spot, a wonderful place for a meditation. And then we visited again for the, maybe for the second time in my life, the Susanna Wesley Garden. This time we made some discoveries, not only about the beautiful garden, but also there's a marker there in honor of one of our now deceased clergy members. We also discovered that they have there a mock meeting house. It's supposed to look like one of the early meeting houses for Methodist meetings. There's also a very nice shelter there. All I could think about was that our confirmation class has another place to visit next spring. A good place for devotions and for a separate worship experience for our church family. We also found the opportunity to discover the Cornell Bryan Nature Garden. And in that garden, which goes up the side of the mountain, there are the native plants to the North Carolina mountains. Every plant that is in that garden has been identified because it grew there naturally and continues to grow and thrive in the climates of the North Carolina mountains. It's amazing what you can discover, even in the middle, middle of the wilderness. I've been thinking about that a lot. With these Exodus passages, we've been reminded that God was discovered to be the God who was with them in the pillar and in the fire. They learned that even in the wilderness journey, God had not abandoned them. God was with them. They learned that God was their deliverer. Not only did God bring them out of Egypt, but God was also their defender, standing between them and the Egyptian army at the Red Sea. We learned that God was their provider, the one who provided all that they needed bread in the morning in the form of manna, quail in the evening, and even in the dry desert areas, water, fresh, clean water. What they discovered most is that God is worthy of trust. I hope that during this time of wilderness journeying together, that you've had opportunities to discover ways in which God has been trustworthy, that 
God has shown you new things about who God is and how God is present in your life. I'd love to talk with you about it. Let's connect soon.